We're continuing with section 15.6, change of variables, um, and this time we want to see if change of variables available for uh, triple integrals. So now we're, we're discussing uh, the region R to be in, um, in R, uh, R3 or our three-dimensional space and uh, the coordinates x and y and z and s b that's the pre-image with uh, coordinates u v and w again in in r3 or in three-dimensional space and so g of u and v and w is going to give us x y and z as functions of u and v and w and then the triple integral when the uh, volume component is uh, element is with respect to x, y, z, uh, is going to be converted or change variable to, uh, um, in, in this one also r, is going to uh, change to uh, triple integral over region s, which is the pre-image, and the uh, volume elements with respect to u, v, w, and then there is the Jacobian, the absolute value of the Jacobian that is given here. And, uh, and then we have to convert X and Y and Z uh, as functions of U and V and W in here. Um, now, what's that Jacobian thing? Jacobian this time, instead of X, Y, um, partial of X, Y over partial of U, V, you have partial of X, Y, Z over partial of u v w it's sort of an extension of what um, what we know what's the uh, what definition that we did it's the first row you take the uh, partials of x with respect to u v and w second row partials of y with respect to u v and w third row uh, partials of z with respect to u v and w and then you take the determinant of that uh, if you remember uh, determinants this uh, should um, and this may have happened in plenty algebra or other courses. Uh, so you expand it and I can expand it here. We, we did a little bit of determinant before and then determinant this times that. So basically what you do is you find the, the determinant of the smaller ones. Then minus, this time expanded over here, let's change colors, and then the, um, the determinant of these two, which is going to be minus determinant, this is y sub u, y sub w, z sub u, z sub w. Then the last piece is going to be when we're trying to expand over here, which is going to be um, x with respect to w. And then the determinant of these two that are not in the same row, uh, in the same column as x, which is going to be y sub u, y sub u, z sub u, z sub v. And then you figure that, and this is the Jacobian. Um, and so let's do an example on that. Change of variable for triple integral, and then this is the example. Um, and this time we're saying that, uh, that the region is between the plane that equal to 3 and that equal to 1, and the plane this equal to 4 and this equal to 2, and the plane that equal to 8 and that equal to 5. Basically, they instead of lines that we had before, now we have planes if, if they are um, linear region, uh, linearly bounded regions. Now, um, to change the variables in here, we're going to say uh, this is going to be equal to u, this is going to be equal to v, this is going to be equal to w. And then um, we want to uh, be able to, uh, one thing, again, uh, Jacobian can be computed by 
find me the Jacobian out there. G inverse, and this is giving me the G inverse. G inverse is U equal to X plus minus 2Y plus Z. V is equal to 2X plus Y minus 3Z. And W equal to X plus Y plus Z. Right? So I can find the uh, Jacobian uh, using the G inverse and and or G. And also, um, and so you, I can basically uh, find the uh, u sub x, u sub y, u sub z, and, and move on with that. So I would get a, um, this is the Jacobian of because it's linear transformation again. This is Jacobian of G inverse. And so this is gonna be the determinant of one and then uh, negative two and then one and then here two, one, negative three, here one, one, one. And I get the answer, and then I have to find the reciprocal of that to make it as my um, uh, Jacobian. And it turns out that that value was 15, and the reciprocal of it is 1 over uh, 15. And therefore, I have the Jacobian, and I can integrate at this point. And so how do I integrate? It's going to be uh, basically... I have to replace um, x, y, and z um, by the functions of u and v and um, w. And so that piece requires me finding g itself. That's the one that I need to find g itself for. And But then otherwise, the bounds are um, set for u is going to be 1, 2, 3, for v, uh, is going to be 2 to 4 for uh, W, it's going to be 5 to 8. These are the bounds for the 3. And then I have to plug in F of uh, G of U and V and W. And that um, we have to solve for X, Y, and uh, we have to solve for um, x, y, and z, so I can plug them into here. And, and that requires um, solving, let's say, u equal to v equal to u, and w equal to It's the system of um, uh, linear equations. Um, on three variables and, and three equations and we, we're basically solving for x, y, and z. So we're treating u, v, and w as constant in there. And, um, and you can use any method that you use to solve the systems of linear equations and you get these numbers out of there. And then uh, you can set up the integral what oh i have uh, forgotten to put the jacobian in there which is 1 over 15. and then you can reset the change variables in the triple integral um so beside all of these that we discussed um we're gonna discuss in another section, uh, double integrals and triple integrals, then and change of variables using uh, polar coordinates, cylindrical and spherical coordinates. And um, over there, we discuss the change of variables again.